Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. Okay, it's a little bit bleakly. Uh, hurricane season officially ends on um, November the 30th. Uh, we are in December now. It's still a little bleak, bleaky. And um, history has shown us that, well, demonstrated that, that um, rain have actually, well, storms or hurricanes have actually developed um, after the hurricane season officially ends. Anyway, that's not the issue of today's video. Today's video is about uh, can you house uh, embuma cichlids with, let's say, Malawan peacocks or some other peacocks that are also found in the same um, water body. So stay tuned as I share um, in this piece of video. Okay, so uh, Lake Malawi is located in Africa. At first, when I first heard the name, it it, 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 it sounded as if it would be located near like Hawaii, Asia, some, somewhere about there. But after, you know, carefully looking at it, I realized that as a geography teacher, I'm a really, you know, novice regarding the location of that place. Okay, so uh, Lake Malawi is located in Africa. It cuts through about three different, uh, three different countries, Tanzania, Mozambique, and Malawi itself. It it actually runs uh within the the what we call it the, the center of the southern section of of of, of africa and it is a very large river uh if you were supposed to measure the amount of um land space or should i say the length of that river it's about it's over a hundred researchers it's about over 600 in kilometers in length and over uh 70 uh, kilometers in width and it's a couple meters deep right uh, over 100 meters at the deepest point so you must know that this is a really really large area okay um lakes normally develop in highland areas where you have a lot of um, volcanoes um lakes occur as a result of um you know going back to my geography here um lakes occur as a result of uh, the, the top of the that this usually happen like thousands or hundreds of years ago, right where the top of the volcano actually blows off and it um it falls somewhere and coincidentally you know it's a highland area so what happened a lot of rainfall occurred there so what happened is that um it it's like a catchment area a lot of water flow as a result you end up with radial drainage pattern um well it's not really a, a river per se it's like a, a lake fresh water but it's a lake right so um i wouldn't really attribute the characteristics of a river you know having the the three um levels all right so lake malawi is the house or should i say is the is a origin of several endemic cichlid breed to africa right um it is here that you find some cichlids that not found anywhere else in the world you know, tropics it's like the heaven for tropical um cichlids um throughout the world right it it, 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 it every single month you they, they find some other species of, of of cichlid coming from this region so you have peacocks and you have embuma, you have all different types of cichlids, including catfish that lives within the um the Malawian uh Malawian lake, right? Malawian you know, lake area. Alright, so the question is being asked whether or not I can keep uh embuma with the let's say peacock, the Malawian peacock. Uh, my response to that would be I wouldn't, right? And this is the reason why. One um the the, the, the river is i should i say the lake malaman lake it is so large it's so wide it have dynamic um structure uh that it has distribution of fish species throughout its its channel uh, what happened is that different fish species tend to have their own area right and their own area uh, matches with their you know their, their whole persona um what they are supposed to um be you know consuming how they're supposed to behave and all of that a matter of fact the embuma is referred to as a rockfish and several other fish are referred to as a rockfish and rockfish meaning that they actually uh, they love rock skate 
right um you have some cichlids uh found in the in this area uh that live within the area that is mostly covered by sand and some amount of weeds right and this is how they they actually hide away from the other cichlids that live within the, the rock scape now the reason why i would suggest that uh emboma and other cichlids let's say um uh, malam and pika shouldn't be together is that you have different temperament um as i said before the river is very large like two one well nearly one and a half one and a more than one and a half about one and three quarter the length of jamaica itself right so therefore you have different areas in which the fish can actually live right without actually being a bother to each other now if you keep malam and peacock and emboma together what you'll have is that you'll have um they'll be in close relation to each other and the aggression level between both are different now uh malam and peacock is referred to as well the temperament is regarded as semi aggressive right so it's not as aggressive as the emboma the cichlids that are normally the temperament is referred to as very aggressive so therefore if you put these two together what you'll find is that you'll find that um some amount of aggression will be there and what researchers have seen and, and what some fish keepers have suggested is that if you're going to be keeping both of them together you have to keep one male and several female like one male and five females right now for me that wouldn't work out good in my my interest because i am a fish breeder right so um what, what they are actually suggesting is that i keep like for example one male uh mangano with five female mangano but both of them are aggressive right uh one male um uh, malam and peacock with about five female malam and peacock now uh having a, a aquarium or a pond that is so large that can facilitate the um the the the, 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 the escape that these fish need to survive and need to survive properly right having the environment in which they can procreate and swim and hide and you know do the necessary thing without any disturbance from their tank mates is a very difficult feat to actually achieve right so that's one of the reasons why i would not place them together now temperature the same thing uh water um chemistry the same thing uh filtration actually the same thing however i would say that emboma cichlid tend to pull more than the uh malayan and peacock based on my experience but persons might have other opinions on this now as with lakes uh malawi lake lake malawi uh is secure is 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 situated within a highland area uh i think it's an estimated about, about 1.3 thousand uh, feet above sea level right um it its tributaries run throughout africa uh which feeds other rivers uh it 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 it, it, it for example uh, a tributary from the lake malawi from lake malawi actually runs into i think a river by the name of share s-h-i-r-e river um somewhere near um uh tanzania mozambique somewhere right there right now Lake Malawi <clears throat> is a source to several river uh, networks within southern um southern uh Africa. Uh, it slipped me right there, right? Um a geography teacher, they're doing bad, right? Alright, so um going back to Lake Malawi now. As I said before, Highland area came into existence, Lake Malawi that is, as a result of according to geologists, um the the, the 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 a volcano actually you know blowing off its top uh, the top calibre like right and it fall into another uh, another top of another highland area and you know so happened that highland areas are normally areas in which uh watersheds exist as a result water you know being supplied into this area and it end up become this huge massive um area that is catchment for water right um in some areas like in tanzania it is known as the nyasa n y n y a s a right which is um large body of water in their you know in their own expression right um so the reasoning why i say that i would not mix emboma with with uh 
with, 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 with peacocks. Although they belong to the same region, although they belong to the same, you know, origin, you belong to the same region, climate, you know, pH system, you know, we must remember that Lake Malawi is so large, right, that although you might have the, 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 the fish are coming from one era, one region, the temperament different, right, the, the, the how they behave, with each other different you have some cichlid for example belonging to the same region that i would not place together right because i know their aggression level is so high uh, that it would mean disaster for their tank mates right i i do breed fish with the main purpose of resale uh, to um customers uh so therefore my thing is that i do species only um whether or not you might believe this but you ha also have the run the risk of actually having crossbreeding uh within a system like that because remember you'll be having a, a closed system unlike the closed system of malaria malaria and uh, late malaria right it's a closed system in the sense that it doesn't really the water body doesn't directly enter into the sea it's a closed system it enter into other rivers and other rivers you know do their thing right um it, it, it you find that what happened is that you will not be able to duplicate the environment that actually keeps both species should i say emboma and 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 other species of cichlids together um even if you rationalize and say that you're gonna be having a few of this type a few of that type you're gonna find aggression level be more on one side than the other now uh my rationalization of the whole thing is not based on you know going against the, the big bigs going against persons who have actually suggest that you can actually mix both right my reasoning is based on experience right experience and in doing further research i've actually played it over and over in my mind um that it just will not work and it will not work effectively um given the the the, the situation that exists in late malawi and the different um temperament structure of the different cichlids that exist there Right, each cichlid having their own space, having their own area, having their, their own like. Some cichlids like sand and weeds to live in. Some like rocks. Some like the open water. You understand? So, it's it's just it's just totally different. Um, giant conversation uh, is a lot I want to say, but uh, I'm just not gonna be saying it until probably you might ask a question and I I probably might go into that area. Um, as you can as you can see, I've actually read on this. I, I, it took me about probably about a week to read through the entire information on Lake Malawi and the cichlids. And I've watched a few videos where persons have actually presented as to how you must how you can keep both together. But I still disagree. And you know, being a democratic world that we hopefully we live in, right? um we should be able to agree to disagree um share your points you probably disagree with me let me know why and um let's continue the conversation now huh? hit the comments down below thank you very much for stopping by peace